hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel today we're going to be talking about stripe as a company if you're not familiar with stripe that's what i'm going to i'm going to explain to you today you're going to learn about the features what it can do how you can use it to make more money in your business so without further ado let's get into the video so stripe is a payment processing platform if you're not used to this that's okay many people are more familiar with paypal and that's um, the one that many people use to collect payments online but stripe is one of those kind of platforms that allows you process payments securely and they charge you a fee for doing so so i'm going to show you all the products that stripe has because it's a big company and they have a lot of products on it. so we're going to be talking about all the products they have and what they are used for and which one may apply to you depending on the kind of business that you do and then you can determine I mean, if Stripe is something that you want for your business. And here's a hint, you probably do. So this is Stripe and this is their website. As you can see, it's a unified platform with an integrated suite of payment products. Basically, they have added every single thing that they feel like you need to help you process payments online. And they have a very, very powerful API network and system that allows you to really harness the power of Stripe with a little bit of code. And you can use this for anything from a small business all the way to a full-blown SaaS product or even an enterprise company. So let's take a look at Stripe's products. The first thing that they have is payment processing. So that is their first service. They help you receive payments online. And you can do this in a couple of ways. You can either integrate with an external software or use them directly and con connect to your own software. And then they have now, which is a newly added option for you to collect payments directly from Stripe themselves. So you can use this to collect payments for any business and you can start get started in almost immediately. And you can... Um, sign up in a few minutes and get started so if you take a look here you can see what they are showing you you have the option to create shareable links you can do flexible invoicing you can accept payments inside of your own mobile app and you can also use stripe terminal to receive payments like a pos now that is stripe payments like a summary of stripe payments the next thing on their list is the payment links now normally you would need to integrate stripe with either something that you have developed yourself or you would need to pay for an external card solution such as stripe card which is one of my favorite card solutions or maybe your funnel builder such as click funnels or woocommerce inside of wordpress but if you're a small business owner or you're a freelancer or you're somebody who just offers services part-time on the side you might just need something that provides a link and allows people to pay through that link and that's where stripe payment links comes in so you can create payment links to send people to pay make payments for whatever you're selling online with ease without using any external software or needing to code anything from scratch now if you've not watched my video on how to set up a payment link then you want to uh, watch the video and i will leave it up there in the links cards but in summary inside of um, stripe you can create products that you want to receive payments for and you'll be able to create a link that will lead to a checkout page just like this so you can collect your customer information you can collect their credit card details securely and be able to charge them for your products and your services that they want you can also use it to charge them either a one-time payment or a recurring kind of payment now um, after payment links we have invoicing so if you are a freelancer you'll be very familiar with invoicing and if you need to invoice your clients you no longer need to use an external software you can just do it inside of stripe so the first thing you need to do is to create an invoice inside of stripe collect your clients details and you just all you need is their email address and you'll be able to send an invoice to your client they will pay and they will also get a receipt sent to them so this is really cool because besides just creating invoice you can add as much detail as you want you can add the product details the customer information tax rates the memos you can have your own custom invoice numbering you can use coupon codes in case you want to give your clients or your customers a discount and you can add your footer links that allow you link to your terms of use privacy policies and refund policies 
policies. So this makes it really easy for you to manage payments and invoices from inside Stripe. You can also add a custom email domain so that when your each email sending out your invoice goes out it will show with your email and your email domain which makes you look even more professional now the cool thing about stripe is that you can use it to collect payments from over 135 countries and they have multiple payment methods so you have ach you can even do a direct bank transfer they have gyro pay so forth ideal sepa direct debit just to name a few so what this does for you is that it really simplifies the procedures in your business because from one dashboard you can manage everything that has to do with payments now the next thing on their list is billing and in billing, if you have a business that has to do with recurring services or recurring payments, then this billing allows you to really manage any kind of payment system, no matter how complex or how simple it may be. So think about businesses that are prorated software as a service businesses that need to give out licenses and all of those things. Stripe can handle all of them for you. You can make the logic as flexible as you want you can combine payment systems you can manage billing cancel upgrade downgrade pause as much as you want to do all of it inside of stripe using their stripe billing um, platform now the other thing that they have is stripe connect so connect is literally what it says connect so if you have a marketplace if you have a software if you build something and program it and you need it to collect payments but you don't want to code your own solution for payments from scratch you can just use stripe connect to connect your app or whatever you designed to stripe and use that to collect payments seamlessly inside of your platform you can even white label it to make it your own so that it looks like you are the one actually processing the payments when in fact stripe is the one on the back end processing the payments we also have stripe terminal now this is the pos version of stripe and it allows you to collect payments if you have a physical in-store um, retail or like experience for your business so you can have a PO POS that your clients can come in and swipe their cards through and it will connect everything as it should be and it will be very very easy for you to manage those payments because they go directly to your bank account through Stripe. The other product that they have are their financial services. So you have the corporate card, you have capital which is if you want to borrow money um from stripe in form of a loan you also have treasure which is like banking as a service then in addition to these things they also have business operation services which are which include radar which is for fraud and risk management i personally use this to manage my payment so in case somebody is using like a fraudulent card or a stolen card stripe has artificial intelligence in place that checks all of these things like they check where the person is located at the time when they are making the transaction versus the cards registered address they will also check every other thing about the card like how often it has been used how much usually is the limit when somebody is using this card to make purchases and that will help them determine if the card is actually a legitimate card or if it's probably a stolen stolen card and someone is trying to carry out a fraudulent transaction so sigma gives you custom reports on your business so if you want to see reports of everything that is going on as per your billing your customer revenue and all of those things sigma is going to help with it atlas is a service that they have that helps you incorporate um, your business in the united states if you are not a non-resident now i have an entire video explaining what i like and what i don't like about stripe atlas and what i recommend instead if you're looking for that so if you're interested in that then you want to check out the cards and definitely take a look at my recommendation and my thoughts about stripe atlas then the other thing that they have is stripe climate which is a cool cool feature where whenever you process payments you can sign up as a company to help save the environment and what that does is that whenever you take a part a payments from your customers or clients you donate a certain percentage of it to stripe climate which they use to um put towards saving the environment and helping us live in a greener better environment as a whole 
recently stripe just added stripe tax which allows you to add vat and sales tax to whatever you're selling online to make your financial accounting and bookkeeping much easier and then finally they added identity which is for their identity verification and identity online so that if you want to verify the identity of people using um, their software you're able to do so so let's look at their stripe treasury treasury <laughs> Let's take a look at the Stripe Treasury. Stripe Treasury. So if you take a look here, you can see the Stripe climate and you see what is here. It's basically a fraction of your revenue and they can use it to help control the carbon that is being emitted into the atmosphere each time we travel or whatever you burn carbon um, containing uh, or, or like things and we help ruin the environment so that they donate a bit of anything that is um you any transaction that you process through stripe you can choose to donate a percentage of it towards stripe climate and then So you may be wondering, now that I know Stripe can do all of these things, what use cases are the best for me? So Stripe will work for you if you're into e-commerce e and you sell e-commerce products, you're in the e-commerce industry, then Stripe is very, very good for you. Number two is that if you're into the SaaS industry, which is software as a service, then Stripe is very, very good because it enables you easily collect payments and manage all of your customers from one dashboard and makes you actually selling the SaaS much easier. We also have Stripe Marketplace, and then you. This is where you can have multi-party payments and things like that. And then they also have Stripe platforms. You can use it within platforms where you can allow your customers inside of your own platform collect payments. So Stripe is a really, really powerful platform. It's a powerful software, and uh, one of the things that it, you you can see is that whether you're a small business or you're an enterprise level business, there is always something that stripe can do for you and before we go let's talk about stripe fees so stripe is not free and it does not have a monthly subscription cost either rather what they do is that they charge you a percentage of every transaction so currently any transaction that passes through stripe they take out 2.9 percent plus 30 cents for each successful card charge. So that is their charge right now. And it is one of the lowest on the market for a um, card processing company. Currently, PayPal is at around 3.4% for transactions through cards. So this is currently the lowest you can get as a general business owner now i know you can negotiate different percentages when you have higher volume of processing but for the average person this is what you'll be using <laughs> excuse me now you can see that they have all of these features already connected inside and you can use them immediately you sign up for stripe but if you use other methods other than card transactions so if you're not using like a visa mastercard mr american express card to process your payments like let's say your clients or your customers are using something else there are different fees depending on what um particular type of processing they choose so if you're doing a bank to bank transfer you get it at 0.8 percent which has a five dollar cap if you're using any of these um payment methods you have 80 cents as the starting price for ideal then something you should know is that stripe also comes with 3d secure authentication you can automatically update your card account you also have something called instant payouts so normally when payments enter into stripe it takes a minimum of two business days for them to release it but stripe recently released a feature called instant payouts which you pay one percent in order to get your money instantly into your bank account now if you're using stripe billing to um charge for a recurring service they will charge you an additional 0.5 percent now mind you if somebody's using a card 
to charge for um, a billing, recurring billing, they would charge you 2.9% plus 30 cents plus the 0.5% that they would charge on top of the base charge for using a card transaction. If you're using invoicing, rather than pay um, um, 2.9% plus 0 0.30 cents, you also pay an additional 0.4%. And for connect um, expenses, you have 0.25% for the multi-party payments that are fully customized. Stripe tax currently charges 0.5% and radar, which is for fraud protection, charges you 5 cents per um, screen transaction. And then they also do 7 cents per screen transaction for teams. And then it also protects you against chargebacks. So for chargebacks, it, it takes an additional 0.4%. So these are all of the fees that Stripe currently has, depending on the service that you're choosing. And it's very robust, but don't get overwhelmed. The easiest thing to do is just to go to Stripe website and sign up for Stripe. Now, if you're wondering what are the requirements that I need in order for me to sign up for Stripe and get a Stripe account, because I clicked on it and I can see that it's not available in my country, but I still want to have access to Stripe. Then you want to watch my video where I'll be talking about how to get a fully verified Stripe account as someone who is not supported by Stripe. That is when you go to Stripe, you, you try to sign up and they tell you that your country is not currently supported. Then you want to watch out that, watch for, um, that video. So definitely check it out and I'll see you guys in my next video.